Shall we accept good from God and not accept adversity? Foolish woman, shall we accept good from God and not accept adversity? And then as we read on, we find that he's got three friends who give him advice. Well, who needs enemies when he's got friends like the ones that Job had? They come along and they say to him, Job, the problem is innocent people do not suffer. Therefore, you must have been sinning. That's why you're having all these problems. And the second one says to him, God rewards those who are good. And the third says to him, God, Job, you need to confess your sin. But Job chides these people and he refutes their advice. And what does he do? He reflects on the, on the past glory, the past times he had with God. And as we come to the end of the book, God starts to talk to Job about who he is. He compares himself to Job. He asks Job if he can do the things that God does. talks about creation and nature and the wonders that he has brought about. And Job acknowledges God for who he is and repents of his thoughts. And then in that final chapter, God restores Job to his uh, earlier glory and restores all those things. And his friends, he uh, brings them to a point where he, he tells Job that he needs to pray for them and they need to bring a burnt offering of sacrifice. Through these two particular scriptures, we can learn a great deal to how we cope when despair comes into our lives. What are then the uh, causes of despair? And this is not an exhaustive list, but it's just some of the things that can bring us to a point of despair in our life. Can be financial hardship, mental or emotional illness, domestic violence and abuse, redundancy and the resulting feeling of no worth or no value, the death of a family member, physical sickness or injury, somebody becomes a paraplegic for example, old age or loneliness. How we cope with adversity depends on many factors. I'm just going to ask Lincoln if he uh, would just come and share with us his story. Thank you, Tim. Um, it is a privilege to um, share this story with you, although it's not easy. And yes, I'm Lincoln. Uh, my wife Emma uh, was playing guitar here this morning. Uh, we've been married just over three and a half years. Earlier on this year, um, we gave birth to a boy on the 2nd of, of January. Unfortunately, um, he was stillborn. And we were up north on holiday over Christmas, and um, we awoke. He awoke early one morning, and um, so we, we knew something was wrong, so we rushed down to the Whangarei Hospital, and we got there, and um, the midwife said she couldn't find a heartbeat, and, which is a big, big shock for us. And um, so she went and got another nurse, and the, the next nurse, she couldn't find a heartbeat either. So then uh, we got a scan, and they couldn't see a heartbeat either. So that was a very, very, um, very, very sad time for us um, to lose our little boy. Um, it was a big surprise to us um, falling pregnant but um, we understand that these things happen when you, when you share the same room. So we, although he was a surprise we, um, we knew God, God knows best and we chose to trust, trust in him. Um, roughly 12 hours later after finding um, our boy, um, heart, heart had stopped beating. Um, Emma gave birth to him, and um, I'm very proud of her for doing that. Um, all, all our families were there with us, and, and um, we spent an hour or two with with our boy in the hospital. Um, we took lots of photos, which is a which was a very healing time for me. 
Um, four days later, we had um, a big funeral. We wanted to honour honour our boy and honour honour God. We had um had our, had the funeral on the sixth of January, which was also our wedding anniversary, and we felt fitting that it was um, good to have it on that day. Uh, we miss our boy lots and lots, but we will see him again. I mean, how how people go go through uh, what we did uh, without the hope of um, being able to see see the children again, I wouldn't know. At least I know that I will see, that we will see um, Ezekiel one day. Um, Excuse me. Um, On the way, I think, to the hospital, um, or maybe at the hospital before he was born, uh, we agreed that if he was a boy, because we, we, we didn't know what uh, we were having, was going to be surprised. If he was a boy, we were going to call him Ezekiel Lincoln Carr. Um, Ezekiel, meaning God, strengthens. And, um, and that's what he has done for us. We never blamed God and never even crossed our mind to be angry with him because our God is a good God, I mean. Um, so church, I must say, um, trust God in the small things, so that when, when big trials come up, it will be easier to trust in him and easier to rely, rely on him and um, it, it's easier um, to find peace in, in the situations. Uh, we are both, both very fortunate to have, have um, good close families and a good church, this church. And um, I'm very fortunate to have a good, stable wife. Um, we, we chose to be open about what we, um, 